Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about recall bias in research. Um, so with recall bias, what is in question here is what are the participants in the research study actually able to remember accurately? Um, so human memory is notoriously inaccurate. We are very bad at remembering things correctly, especially if we aren't necessarily paying attention to the fact that we'll need to remember it. Uh, like there's a big difference between remembering something that you intentionally tried to remember versus remembering something that you didn't know at the time you would need to remember in the future. There's a very big difference there. Um, so research studies need to be designed in such a way that we are not depending on people's memory because we are just not that great at remembering things unless we do it on purpose. Um, so like, for example, this is a notorious problem in some uh, nutrition research where studies might be designed uh, maybe to determine if a certain way of eating is good for heart health or whatever it is that they might be looking for. Well, if you sit people down and say, okay, what did you eat yesterday? What did you eat last month? What have you been eating for the last year? And they're trying to correlate what the person is eating with their current status of health. That's not a great study design because we're really bad at remembering things like that. If I ask you, what did you eat yesterday? Well, unless you are somebody who's tracking everything that you're eating, you're probably gonna have a hard time recalling every single thing that you ate. Um, even if I ask you, like, how many apples did you eat last year? Unless the answer is zero because you don't like apples, then you're not going to be able to give an accurate number of apples. Uh, or other behaviors, like how many times did you go to the gym last year? Unless the answer is zero or one or something really memorable, you're not going to be able to say. Even if you go to the gym three times a week, you're still, you might be able to come up with a reasonable estimate, but you're still not going to be able to account for the times that you were sick or the times you went an extra time or whatever it is. Um, so that's the problem with recall bias. So when we design research, it is best not to depend on participants to remember and report on things because participants notoriously remember incorrectly and report incorrectly. Um, so studies that depend on that type of data collection, uh, we need to really question and, and consider whether we can count on that data. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.